Bobby Ryan trying to get it inside. It comes to Pat Fox. Another marvellous spark of genius from Pat Fox. I'm only five foot seven and a half. I was just a strong individual for my size and didn't mind a bit of hardship, you know what I mean? point by Pat Fox, denied any kind of space, but he doesn't need too much. He's got instinctive pace and great, great scoring talent. No, if we did not Mark Kyle or Pat Fox, we could go, you know, Daniel for him for two, no money me for a deal with Stacker and Glenn, a fag shot to, no me, could have done that. The opposition always respected Pat Fox. They knew what they were dealing with. He was a lethal corner forward. I can't have all the big Fox. We should do it. I should take a ref. They relied, you know, slot no go spars again. Yorkshire and score, Bjork knock, Bjork knock, Gakur. First Pat Fox studying himself. Is this the equaliser? Yes. Once again, an object lesson in how to finish with a minimum of fuss. What a player he's been over the years. In the Shacht Uni, who was Pat Fox, did a Shacht in the day Guish, Ronnie Well Lord Naposki got Eden Five Lenigus for Hebradorin, a Gluffy Canish Nahaden. Water and Law Kena, Bogushir Agujin Lin and Lon Holen, Head Rav Lenella, Agus Runish had gone high east. The Re Anna Rahul, a Natibridigan son of Water. There was a lot of good players after coming through them, three under 21s, and our confidence was beginning to improve. We pat our bug on Nunson all, and we shall actually learn the part that he had to finish in the media got to. In China, not to him, a good new limit, Shahania, Sinina Lontosa. We weren't winning it. You had only a first round, it was a knockout stage. And if you didn't win a first round, like Tip hadn't won a first round game since 71. Across towards Pat Fox, the number 13. But once again, Pat Fox has wasted it. And once again, he's put it wide. None of us had confidence of winning a lot at the time. They were changing selectors every year, but that was the way it was in Tip. If you didn't get success straight away, you were out. When you got to go on your path, you might have a couple of glean. And when you got to go, you got to go to the other side of the line of the line. Brought up with our incredible Canish Namun in Aichorka. It was big stuff for us at the time. At least we were after coming through a few games. I was kind of settled into Carla back a bit more at that stage of my career. That was Tom Cashman's long shot cut out by Pat Fox. We landed in a kind of in the action against Captain Margaret Cooley and Scott fighter at Tipperdar. Ní réidí le tibreadar in Lachlan, an vlian dar gian an ochtú she ní dí mirse mar iall ar glún i dísht, agus vi lag vis ní chaitheachtar. I had myself written off at the time. My confidence was so low I didn't even really want to play hurling. I was nearly thinking about retiring, to be quite honest. Uh, but um, I still loved the game of hurling and I wanted to try and try, but it wasn't happening for me at that, that stage. Achan sin capu babs keating mar vainistúr. Dar hoch gach gine gan alwchon, agus nere se wad gur chud babs cest fir havach da chair fat. Is this what's wrong with your knees? Is uh, have you a problem with knee? I say I have my. I'm. She's in bad shape. I don't really know. I know the crucial is bad. He brought him to Bill Quinlan to have a look at the knees, and uh, I think Doctor Quinlan. Uh, he might have told him there was half it in his head and the other half was, <laughs> I don't know where else. But I think he built a lot of confidence back into my head. Agus an ochtu shacht vi pater ash a glyffi canish na moon. Agus eir ash sa lina lan tosach an oitir ancha ash in a mach. The monster final, Pat Fox the taker, the scorer. Joe Hayes takes it inside. Towards Pat Fox. We knew that Fox is a bluffer, because we tipped the darling raw holding on Jelly. Tip of a free just inside the 45 meter line. Tio English was on the sideline and he says to me, "Drop it in." And I looked in around the square and I couldn't see these guys getting a goal. I said, "Here, 
I think I'll have a go at the point. But Fox is the taker. He's content with a point to cut the lead down to the very bare minimum. 30 seconds left. The loose ball picked up by Bobby Ryan. Seems to be a pickup, but the referee says play away. It comes to Nicholas English. This to settle it. He's held up and it's a free in. A free in for Tipperary. This is the most crucial point that Pat Fox has ever taken to level it up. The sides are level. The referee blows the final whistle. What a dramatic contest it's been. We were actually so thrilled to draw with Cork in the Munster final. Like it was, uh, it was an incredible step for us. We should go by the ropes and the hammers to come on. To tear up for Pat Fox. Just four points separating the sides again. Agus the door now, yeah. We rinse cunts by John. Johnny Crowley. A testing afternoon, that's Nicholas English into the path of Pat Fox. Pursued by Johnny Crowley, but there's a goal chance here for the taking. Oh, it's there! Or is it? No, it's not! I saw the ball hitting the back of the net as far as I was concerned. And then I realised that Cher Cunningham is poking the ball out. I says, what's going on? It hit the woodwork, it came out. There were temporary supporters celebrating a goal by Pat Fox. They can all be in fists of normal there for again to see. They can all know the fool and she been to get Google she hadn't trust none, no Google she sticks a cool. I walked into the umpire said, if we don't win this match, I said Tim, you're in serious trouble. And that was it. Will he go for a goal or a point? He went for a goal and came over to Brown. Michael Doyle! Tipperary have scored! It was unbelievable, like we didn't expect these goals to come like the way they did. Into space, Dennis Walsh running back for it. Oh, he's left it behind him. Another chance for Tony O'Connell. Another goal, yes! Oh, it's unbelievable! That's it! After 16 long years in the wilderness, victory belongs and deservedly so to the Premier County. My goodness me, in the Monster Hurling final... It was nearly a blur to us that we had won a Monster final, like they have been on the senior panel for so many years. To get over that was, was unreal. Cliffy yeah, Janish the Hayden and I the Gaelivan. On Hayd Wood, Grimir Pat, a Bosch Roca. We got in a call like a Sule the Craven here. We managed for Murana Cara, could have owned Tipperdown Tagarish. I had never played in Crow Park at any, at any grade, so it's a difficult place to go for the first time, and I think we were all a bit in awe of it, to be quite honest. Pat Fox the taker. His side behind by six points. The goal! A very badly struck penalty, actually. <laughs> I hit the ball on the 14 and it bounced into the net. Not a good free, but actually a lucky one. Ach, near a ale of lashing on all by position, darn the cool for sure. Pack Fox starting inside goal, pursued by Jerry McInerney. Temporarily going for goal! Fox the score! Cool fella have you on, steel fella have you on, Augustine Roy. Roy Ockton lads, uh, it's not hard on the boy need. Anthony Cunningham towards Anna Ryan, can he seal it here? To no lane, Ross just got to the scores! That surely is that now! Like, there's no good winning the Munster final by you winning all Ireland, and, and it was it was hard, you know what I mean? It was hard to take, you know. But at the same time, we were after making progress as we thought. I got my mind set. What are Kane Elegon Keen and Ochtu Ocht? The father let Cluffy Canish the Hayden. A Russia Drail and I. I'll never forget the last training session we had in Torlis before the Hall Island. It was a closed door session and it was, it was flat. It was, I think we might have just gone over the top. But there was pressure on us, like we, you could feel it. Like we, and there, we, there was pressure on ourselves. We wanted to win one, you know. That's like. Like I was, I was 29 or so at that stage. You know what I mean? Galway did their homework. You know what I mean? I think Sil Farrell did his homework. It was a very tight match, and there was no space. Billy McInerney closing down Pat Fox's space. Towards the end of that match, John Commons was in goals, and I got a chance of a goal, and he hit him on the calf muscle. And John had to hold you up here, right? And, and I said, oh, Lord God, I said, this is it. I, I just wanted to be swallowed up and taken off the field. Isanovan Law, not score, I'll pet. 
Action at Harla in a lot of a Shouldering Bobby Ryan. And it's a point. There it is. Norway complete a fabulous two in a row. I was devastated after that match not to score. You go back into a dressing room with 30 people inside the dressing room and their, their heads are down. And if when you, uh, and the worst of all is if you played well, you wouldn't be feeling too bad. But when you play bad and be back in that dressing room, oh, it is, it's the most horrible feeling you can have. Chas te brodol in your gael yr ish tynach tu nai. Fis a nis tawach tyn a riaf, mar go gru eintrum er i wadi se geid chle filiach anus an la keana. You know, no one expected Antrim to beat Offaly. All of a sudden, an All Ireland semi final became an All Ireland final. That's Paul Bonner, one of the great young players of the championship this year. Sean Tracy hits that one over his head to Pat Fox. Dangerous for Galway. Again, a good, incisive move by Fox and another point. Sides on level terms. Nicky English driven him smartly towards Fox. Pat Fox once again getting through. A goal! It was an important goal at the time because we weren't getting away from him, you know what I mean? The referee has had a word with Sylvie Lenain and he sent him off. Sylvie's been sent off. Michael McGrath going off, yes. So Galway are down to 13 men. It's tip for the final as they finally get the measure of Galway. Has <laughs> entered with your Patrick is being a three. Bon ele eight. Fitting to bridge a gap of 18 years. Under the photograph, that's Colin Bonner, keyed up, anxious. We were very nervous. As a, as a team, we were very nervous. And so Declan Carr carries it forward towards Declan Ryan. As Queen Lum Kid for for Tibbetan, cool Lua. I was um, when when uh, on on Kulbaya and Elperson uh, when it's a baton, I was um, for me she's who second player. I was talking about the Shin Shin in it. Declan Carr who breaks it up, cross by Fox, getting inside Jesse Donnelly once again. Four back forward, calling for it. Fox going it on his own and putting it over the bar. His second point, Pat Fox's point, ahead of Gary O'Kane. The vision then to spot that English was in an advanced position. Cross by Fox, sharp, elusive. And sort drop will shin a a son score of the own because has been shin a skill in a galer of the gear in law. I guess Rina Sheikh Rudi on a on a yaker of the the chosen Tory answer in law. When you're confined in a tight space like that, you probably have no other option. I used it a lot, I because I was probably so awkward. Aidan Ryan shared in their monster triumphs. To have your all the middle after being on a team for, for 10 years with no success, like, it, actually, it's, it's, it's everything, every hurler just dreams of having that, that day out. Being blasted in the middle of the game, and so, so, who will win, Patrick is not a brother. In the Dignacha, we are Tebrodar in Corihana Hayden of Wachtoni. Agus Kushli, Hokshia, Douglas Pat Fox, Ayer Hoshka, a grave no moon. It was the first time ever we thought we had Cork on the real back foot. I remember it well. I'd, I was wondering where we'd celebrate that night. Uh, you know, we could, defeat was out of the question. Kieran McGuckin. Whipped in beautifully, Cork needing a score, and they've got it for Cork Foley. What is it inside the score? Agus Sadarnale by New Pat Gunfalsk. Most of my games were probably better in the second half when, when the chips would be down a bit. Uh, I was a bit annoyed, yeah. You know what I'm talking about? You've had a good right? Um, come out and embark, yeah. Because my own chance, like, Danish and Danish and Kinnikart, Agus Danish and Bart. Can they seal it? Oh yes! Visha Harvey Tavat up in the right left, Tibradar and Kion of Ochen, caught Hapig Agassus Federlo, because Norhanig Nochahen, near the Venya, 
Eriran Hibradaran, Nisfar and Amar of E Fox. We knew we were going to give this championship a good rattle no matter what was thrown at us in ninety one. We had Korkabotki Hive of Europa and Luffy Canish the Moon. Approach Cormac Bonner. It runs on for Fox and there's a goal chance here for Tipperary. A crucial one at that. So who's going to win it if there's to be a winner today? Kevin Hennessy. Striking it from his right hand side. Vi er en tom katteg om søndag, og vi må regulere ikke fire kanter, og vi kan ikke tænke så meget derlæs, og vi må ikke fire kanter, og vi kan ikke med Fox, og vi ser ikke chance af sheer begåen i nogen sag skur sal. Still a pile up in front there as we watch Pat Fox try to take possession. I wasn't that far out. It was probably a pretty easy enough one, but it was nearly time up. It was a lucky one at that stage, you know what I mean? But it was great to get that draw. Dan Chemak, right? I I learn how clutch to take in terms of August via Arfian. Maybe I'm going to have Sean O'Gorman there. If you change nothing, you're going to learn how to just pull the mark here for sure. Had him trust now. Simple stadium, the scene of so many epic curling ties. Looks. Did it matter how the enough two shots that are up? A hammer, August epic hell. Face it, Abramian, looking for some. Look at that! He's got a goal. I can remember Kevin Hennessy coming out 15 minutes to go, and he. He's after banging a ball into the back of the net, and I think we're about eight points down. We look like we were out of the championship. Massim got to be a fox of four and cool, a hussy gun on on top the near the hybrid on 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 last year. Joe Hayes. There was a ball after going from the midfield into the corner. Um, I don't know who had sent it in. I think it was Joe Hayes hit the odd ball in here, but. I just saw a little opening there, and I, I just went for it with the flick of a hurley like a tennis racket. Half box didn't seem to be ahead of the cross backs there. Just got with one handed flick, tennis style to the back, and a fantastic goal. He had a brain. He had a great hurling brain. I think it was actually I gave him the ball myself. In, he, he, uh, I don't mind me saying so. It. He hadn't a lot to do when he tapped it in, but he did that anyway. <laughs> and uh, we don't like to give him too much praise either. He get carried away with himself, you know. It reaches Cleary. There was four or five hundred people behind the goals. Gerard Cunningham was going crazy inside and go, and the Cork management were going mad. Like actually, it was a disgrace, but at the same time, it was some boost to us to have all these guys running in around the field uh, celebrating and, and the match still going on. You know what I mean? It's all over. But it was the best match I felt I, I ever played in. You know what I mean? That. The satisfaction of of winning a game that probably we shouldn't have won was the '91 replay in Sydney Torlas. A remarkable setting. Ach, we five in the first year were the first line of the tussock. I guess you'd rail a tour to free hill honey and go for Canish and Hayden. The V banner. I guess the English court. I guess much in the. I guess the V fox. Mar mar on on dinner Derek mal der far right. So it's no on on ten dinner more via car house. So in Selina mal der far on dinner stig on son through the car do cool do. I felt I needed to step up a bit when the two boys were in trouble, but I did feel myself I was playing I was playing as good as I could at the time. He says I'll win the match for you tomorrow if you give me the ball in. The Viking is going forward. Bonner still to Pat Fox to look for their first score. And he has put it over the bar, has he? Yes. Fox, neat pick up. Looking for the first score of the second half. And Pat Fox has restored Tipperary's lead. Back to Fox. And he's turned it over. No matter what I'd done, it was one of the perfect games. Everything possibly in the book went right for me that day. Crossroads, Pat Fox. Have to take it round. Simpson succeeding. Still a few seconds to be added on. Liam Welch robbed. Pat Fox, but they see it now. It's all over and Tipperary have won the All Ireland. Vincent Power. It's the moment that Tipperary have waited for, have planned. For. He scored five points from play against Kilkenny. And he delivered on his promise. He did say that at the meeting. If you give me the ball, I'll, I'll win it for you. Way Pat, a money in the blinner in the Diagnay Hahil. A Kerry Mechnay Hodo, 
agus Corkula Hubbard East in Grave the Moon. But curiously, young Brian Corcoran has gone across to mark the dangerous Pat Fox. It's Queen of Law, Shinnig, Fairkin, and Logs, and what have you on Brian Cochran and Dulles Cochran and Kate Clare to Brian Cochran and Agus A. Again, and Mark Isle or Pat Fox, right? Agus, you know, Dulles is on very Cody Cash down as much in the but if you cock and her bar anyway, Marie Moore, right? But her visa her bar and all, Shin, right? Pat Fox support available for Michael Cleary, but it's Cochran who started very impressively. Towards Fox, again, Cochran winning the second ball that comes between them. It's English. Whipping it across towards a Fox's run. There against Brian Corcoran. The momentum of Pat Fox carrying the ball out. Out over the sideline. And the linesman signaling a line ball. And it's all over. And the champions are gone. Tipperary beaten. And Cork have won this Munster Championship semi-final. I was devastated to be, to be beaten by a young fella at the time. Because I was really playing well, said, the year before. And I thought I was going to continue it on. But... It can all go wrong very fast. Ach, we love one Ellen and Lillian, he's script go fat. Cluffy Canish the moon and Eichard Chiri and Lion Cloyd. Down to Michael Cleary, rarely plays a bad game for Tipperary in the championship. Pat Fox, likewise, running there ahead of low and scoring chance, a bell off. Lovely play. Fox coming, looking, and Fox coming to score. Delightful point. Come back and play so well against Clare at the time was was great for us. You know what I mean? We were like we hadn't beaten anyone by that kind of a score for for a long time. To be honest, truth, we we had played very well against Clare, but maybe we emptied the tank. Near Hossa Patton lost in a bluff for Yankee in the Gaelive. A few little silly things went wrong for us that day. It was Galway's day more so than ours, you know. That's normally the angle that you'd expect him to put the ball over the bar, and it really is symptomatic of an afternoon. We're in law during the high pack fox again, must be Boschke Roka. I was suffering from a lot of injuries at the time, hamstrings, calf muscles. Like I, I wouldn't be out on the field, and, and I'd pull one at that stage. You know what I mean? I guess the high check with the loose of the game. I guess better go go near the shit. Shin and Diffley did there, and Pat Fox of the game was in the afternoon. I guess no hand. Agus and Pat Fox of the Gimmer rain playing to the action. Agus Vina Vina Cosentori, Abel to Bedder, Fanak Nis Congri, though Margaret Bioganin, then Lewis Kyle to get. Kegor Fox and Glenn Ute Rigans on the Nidoran Grefsha Kohefu took the V. Agus Nidoran Grefsh on Fern Kohefu Karnoi is a Vichy River Shin. When it comes to that stage, you just don't want to retire, you know what I mean? You're after having such a great innings to your career and you just wanted to try one more time, one more time. But when it starts going wrong for you, it stays going wrong and it's very hard to it's very hard to turn it around, you know. Oh it was worth it all, yeah. The memories that we had with that team, um, I never forget them. Never forget them for the rest of my life. His first match with Tipperary was 1980. He hurled up, I think, was to 95, 96. It was a long time to give playing into County Hurling. He owed nothing to Tipperary at the end of his career. Higshe, Cadavilla Dana, not a real leader the game, because Higshe says on Passaport, no Dolly fan. I was Shin and a hawk that not a real Tosika, in other words, Hawks in a kinney cart, a gnome cart. In Iden, a Vech Avrakalor, can come out. Tossy come out of Pat Foxico, Vex Shansi Wadney's Varaco, Clifford Bit, no craver be a vocant, Margaret Shell. I'm not really big into these accolades. I just like to be remembered as a decent hurler that did, a, did his bit for Tip, you know what I mean?